being the water the guinea pig. And this is an attempt by us to be very interactive with all parts of society in the broader states to discuss issues around healthcare and genetics. And we have a group of eminent colleagues who are going to talk to us this morning, both as a keynote lecturer from Professor Anne Glover and then other speakers who will engage us in a plenary session. And then as you can see from the timetable this afternoon, we have an opportunity to actually engage with each other and discuss the relevant ethical, legal, clinical, etc. issues around a range of issues relating to clinical trials and how genomics fits into this. Before I get too deep into things, I just need to remind you all that there are no fire alarms expected today. So were we to hear one, could I encourage you to either go out this side door here and round the back into the lane, up the side and into the front area across at the George Hotel or out the back. And I'm sure that people with badges from the Royal Society will be leading uh, that congregation if we need to move. Can I also prevail on you to turn off your mobile phone so that it doesn't interfere with the speakers or with the audio-visual recording that is going on? And to let you know that there will be roving microphones this afternoon in particular to allow you and all of us to actually have our discussions and to address the various issues. Um, we're particularly grateful that the Royal Society has allowed us to have our conference here this morning and to help to facilitate the conference. Uh, it's a fantastic venue to have this type of meeting. Um, in addition, um, it's worth my reminding you again that there will be audio-visual recording, that this uh, will, however, be relatively confidential and it will allow our colleagues at GenGage to actually uh, look at the discussion and give greater detail by analysing what we've had to say. The conference is, as you've seen, um, around our Gengage funding, which comes from Scottish Government. And it was facilitated and funded to allow colleagues uh, around Scotland, but particularly our academic colleagues at the ESRC Genomics Forum, to have a group to look at the use of genetics in healthcare, to look at how that should influence public knowledge, uh, policy information, healthcare professional behaviour, etc. So today is an incredibly important day when we start to look at the issues that relate to how clinical trials are currently um, conducted and some of the issues that arise regularly during clinical trials. And as Abony is currently having its visit from MHRA, the regulator of clinical trials, um, we're particularly from Aberdeen aware of these issues uh, for the next four days. And I know Dundee and Edinburgh has already had a similar uh, visit to look at our practice and make sure it's optimised to be as safe, effective and ethical as possible. We're going to start the day by inviting Professor Anne Glover to address us. Anne, as you may already know, was on the radio this morning speaking about this conference and is the Scottish Government Scientific Advisor. She's been in that role since 2006. Um, Anne is a professor from the University of Aberdeen in her very little spare time these days, but is uh, an eminent speaker, and we're delighted to invite her up here to begin the day. So thanks very much, Anne. Thank you. 